Okay, hi all. Good morning. So welcome to the another session of the SQL training course. So officially today is the first class. Yesterday was the demo class. So quickly I will revise the concepts what we have discussed yesterday. Feel free to ask questions, make the session interactive. The more it is interactive, more you'll be benefited. So don't feel hesitate of asking questions. Okay. So yesterday we have discussed uh, that in SQL, it's a stand for a structured query language. Down the line, I will tell you that why the name is a structured query language and all the system. So we have seen the concept of a table. A table is nothing but uh, a placeholder, an object where you can save your data, or you can store your data. So equivalent is like our house. So we, like house is something, an object where we can store. So similarly in database terms, table is an object where you can save your data, you can store your data. So here I have shown you that I have a table with the name employee EMP. And in this table, I have ID, name, department and salary. These all are the columns or the headings. <coughs> Sorry. In general term, it is known as headings, but uh, talking in technical terms in database, we, we tell them as a columns. Okay, so ID is one column, name is another column. Department is another column, salary is another column. So in this employee table, I have four columns. Now, do you think there is any restriction or limitation on the number of columns in a table? Not on it. No, no, we have discussed that yesterday, that there is no restriction on the number of columns in a table. Okay. There can be uh, two columns in a table, there can be 100 columns in a table. We have worked in a project where we have seen there are more than 100, 150 columns in a table. Okay, there is no restriction, but as a bit, uh, as a best practice, it is suggested to keep less number of columns in a table. And that is, uh, that is derived from the concept of normalization. Maybe those who knows well and good, if you don't, don't worry about that. If time permits by end of the course, I will try to explain you that. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the first thing. Second thing is, these all are data. Like this is, sorry, this is record. This is one record. This is another record. This is third record. This is fourth record. So in this employee table, I have four columns, ID name, department, salary, and I have four records. These all are the four records. Again, in a table, there is no limitation on the number of records in a table. In a table, you can have a number of records one record, 10 record, 100 record, 1 million record, 20 million record, there is no limitation. And this is one of the benefit of uh, working on database as compared to your Excel. Your Excel has a limitation of 1 million rows, right? So that's one of the benefit. So, so far as I hope it is clear. Yes. Okay. Then, then I have shown you, uh, has Firdaus shared the notes with you yesterday, the coding which we have done all these things? No, uh, it might have not been shared. We will share it from today onwards. So now there is a syntax that how to create a table in, in a database. There are multiple syntaxes, but in the beginning, I will show you the simple one. Then slowly we will increase the complexity. Okay. Create table employee. <clears throat> So when you will write create table employee, your engine will understand that the user wants to create a table with the name employee. Here create and temple, temple uh, sorry, table are the reserved keywords, right? Reserved keywords are create and table. What are the reserved keywords, anyone? Uh, reserved keywords are used for the syntax purpose. Means we are not we are not allowed to use these keywords mm -hmm. for creating the table. Means any kind of the variable name, we cannot use that reserved words. Okay. Any other thought? Reserved uh, keywords cannot be modified. Okay. Then see, I will tell you one thing. <clears throat> Very important interview <clears throat> uh, tips I am giving you because I have been a part of recruitment team for multiple organizations. When we take an interview, we don't only concentrate on your skill sets that, okay, this guy is very strong in SQL or Python, let's hire him. No, apart from that, your presentation, your communication, your soft skills, this all matters a lot because you're not going to work in silos in any project, right? You'll be working in a team. So when the interviewer is asking you a question, they're expecting that uh, briefly you will cover all the things. 
Okay, and again, you don't have to make the longest story. But if I'm asking what is the reserved keyword, you're taking five minutes to explain it. No one is having that much time to wait for that. Again, don't give a very, uh, very short and crisp ready-made answer. It makes a sense that, okay, he has prepared for the interview and just he's vomiting here. So you have to be, you have to answer your question in such a way that it should reflect that, oh, this guy has worked. He, he knows it. Okay. Reserved keywords are the keywords which SQL engine knows what to do. That is why the name is reserved. It has been reserved by the SQL engine. Engine knows what I have to do. Like here, create. Engine knows what to do. Correct? If you write create, engine will understand that, oh, I have to create a table. And when you have written table, it will understand that I have to create a table. Okay, is that clear? So these are the reserved keywords. Engine knows what they have to do there. Hope it is clear. Okay. Then the next is your user defined keyword. Like EMP. What is the EMP here? This is the table name. This is user defined. User defined means if you're creating a table, you can create a table with any name, your wish. You can create a table name with EMP, or maybe you can write fully employee, or you can create a table with any other name, whatever is coming in your mind, cells salary department a student any other thing okay and then this column names all uh, these are all user defined it means you can keep any column names in a table we have all the freedom is it clear so your table names and column names are also user defined so this is the syntax to create a table in a database um, after this I mentioned here that I'm telling to SQL engine that in this employee table, I want this columns ID, name, department, salary, right? But at the same time, you have to tell to SQL engine that what type of data or what is the nature of data they will hold. Okay, that you have to explain. You might be thinking, why Tanvir? What is the reason? So when I will teach you that data type class separately, I will explain you all those things. But for the time being, understand that when you're creating a table, and when you're adding columns, then you have to tell to SQL engine that what is the type of data you want to store. <clears throat> so in ID column, generally we store numbers, integers. These all we have covered yesterday. I'm just revising it quickly, okay? So I have told you that in a, a column which is of numbers or integers, if you're, if you're going to store, you have to mention as INT. And if in a column, if you want to store <clears throat> like um, ABCD and all those things, you have to mark that as a where care. I have not told the reason that why where care, why I can fifty. These all things we will discuss down the line. So department, what you will keep? I into your where care. Hmm, come on, tell me. Where care. Where care. Where care. Hmm, where care. Although these are the simple questions, you will not get questions from this in interview. This is just basic building blocks. Salary. Integer. Integer. I. Good. I N T. So once it is done, put the semicolon at the last and select this query and then click on this run button. Very simple. Okay. Those who have missed that, how I have logged into this with like a live platform, I have I have explained this in the study demo class. Uh, if you have not received the demo link, we will share the demo link again in the target group because I know few of you have joined the group yesterday and today, so you can go through that uh, uh, link. And you understand that how to log into this platform. It is very, very, very simple. Hardly it will take two or three minutes. And the best part of this is even if you're working in your official laptop, you can practice there. The system table is created. What next? Insert the record. Okay. Shall we verify the table? Yes. It's your wish. If yes. you want to verify, you can verify. What is the command to verify the table structure? Describe. Describe. DESC. DESC stands for describe. So the, this DESC is again a reserved keyword. It means the SQL engine knows what I have to do. Okay. So when, <coughs> sorry. So when you're writing describe employee, the SQL engine will understand that the user wants to describe the employee table. It means user is asking to show the structure of this employee table. Now see, it is showing you the structure. You have ID, name, department, and salary. 
this four columns we have added you are getting this four columns id name department salary uh, second is null so you ignore it we will discuss this down the line what is null and all those things and the next is type id is number if and if it is number or integer they both are same name is where care where care salary is number so it means data table has been created successfully hope it is clear but tanvir i am having one question mm -hmm. we, yeah. we have defined name as a var square 50 means mm. are you going to store the name of 50 length ah uh, that i will discuss just give me some time okay uh, i that i will discuss down the line yeah okay sure. i will show you all the examples that if i will give var square one what will happen if it is var square 100 what will happen but you are almost correct i will discuss that down the line okay probably okay uh okay then what i was saying so we have created a table this is the structure now what next we have to insert data insert so to insert data the command is insert into employee values you see this sql is like a simple english so i am telling sql engine that i want to insert into employee table what i want to insert i want to insert values so then you have to <coughs> <clears throat> write the values what you want to insert so suppose id 1 name is tom the department is hr i'm taking another example today salary is 200 so this is the way how you can insert data in a table id is 1 name is tom department is hr salary is 200 and you have to separate all these things by comma one row is inserted it means this record has been inserted now if you want to cross verify if you want to check whether this record has been inserted or not so what is the command for that select select what is the meaning of select to show to display display select means display when you will write select this is also a reserved keyword engine will understand that oh user is asking me to display something then you have to tell what you want to display if you will write a star it means you are telling please display all the columns then engine will ask you from where from which table then you have to give the table name that i want this from the employee table correct so now again run this query shortcut key is control enter if you don't want to use shortcut you click on this run button If you want to use shortcut, Control Enter. You see, the data is inserted successfully. Hope it is clear. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Now suppose I want to insert one more record. Suppose ID is two. The name is Abdul. The part is a char salary is three hundred. One row insert. Okay. Again, if you want to verify, again run the same query. Select a star from employee. Check the value. One minute. It is. You got it. Hope it is clear. Yes or no. any yes. question yes no okay feel free to ask question guys okay so now suppose there is a third record three name is anand he is from sales salary is 250 so you understood the basic syntax i am not telling that this is the create table is over now in create table many other syntax are there like how to add primary key for in integrity constraints all those things we will study down on the line we have a proper format so we will discuss all those things on the line okay so so far we have studied that how to create a table how to verify the structure you see verifying a structure is your wish if you don't want to verify the structure don't write this dsc command if you want to verify you can run this If you want to insert the data, this is the command, and this is the command to view the data in a table. Clear? 
so i have a doubt hmm. uh, like hmm. um we can say that uh, record is the content which is present in the column uh, like am i correct like what is oh, record ah, good question good question you see this entire set is one record <clears throat> okay and this is data tom is a data hr is a data this 300 is one data this sales is one data but if i'm talking about record this is one record it means that complete information is that clear yes, yes. anand sells to 50 this is one record but if you're talking about data so this is one data anand is a data hr is a data so this is from the plain english dictionary record if you someone will tell me show me your uh, 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 educational record it means i have to tell them 10th marks 12th marks b tech marks and all those things right that is the meaning of record the data means of a particular examination or a particular subject that is the data yeah okay sir. thank you no problem shall i proceed for the report is clear to everyone okay so here i have used a star a star means all the columns but suppose if my management is telling that no i want to use uh, ha one more thing i want to repeat we don't share any notes i have already mentioned yesterday uh, means you will not find that somewhere we will tell you that select what is the functionality of select what is the functionality of from because we believe in hands on session our entire module is hands on only we will be practicing through codes only but during the course i'll be telling you that uh, how you have to answer the question in interview and this particular things how this is used in project that is the most important if you're working in uh, support side or operations side or maybe customer support if you're working and if you want to showcase that in such a way that you have worked in a technical project so this flavor which i'll be telling you where this is used in project that will be very useful so whenever i'll be giving the example of the real time project please remember it and in the interview if the question is asking please add those examples that will be very helpful okay now here <clears throat> my management suppose they are asking that then we show me id only i don't want to see all the information show me id only so you have to write select id you remove the star just write id so it means from this your engine will understand that the user is asking me to display id only because select is means display so now when you will run this query it will display only id please check it it is displaying only id correct uh, if you are asking to display id and name both so write id comma name so engineer will understand that i have to display id and name both now run it it is displaying id and name so you can customize it as per your requirement if you don't want all the columns you can write the columns what you want is that clear <coughs> yes okay second thing <clears throat> tell me one thing i am executing this query when i created this table the <laughs> name was i have kept num first then department but here why department is displayed first and then name in the output we have mentioned the display as first department and name right after right. engine will follow this format to display your data if you have written department first here it will display department first if you have written name after that it will display then name don't you don't think that then when you have created this table you have kept name first it should display name first no it depends on this sequence how you have given the column names here hope it is clear fine okay yes okay now my management is telling that uh, or my manager is telling that then we uh, uh, that is fine you have created this employee table you have inserted data but i am interested in the data of uh, suppose hr department only okay it means my management wants me to apply some filter condition right you all know filter that is not a new word and they want all the columns so for all the columns you have to give here star please go on mute guys so you can write here where background noise is there i request everyone to please be muted if you are not speaking because this will be also the entire class will be disturbed 
Okay, so I want data from the HR department. So you can write here with department equals HR. Okay, so let me execute this script. Do you think this is the correct data? No. Why? So there are two records for HR actually. Good. One minute. This is your employee table. And do let me know if you think I'm going fast. These all things we have covered already yesterday. So it's just I'm revising all those concepts now. This is the employee tip. This is the query I executed. And this is the output. So my management to told me that Tanvir, I want to see only those employee details who are from HR department. So I executed this query and I got this output. Right, I got this output. Do you think this is the correct output? No. No. Why? Yeah, there is what's oh there are two records, it should be there. Good. So it is. Because apart from Tom, we have Abdul as well, who is from HR department. But in, from my query, I'm showing Tom only. So my management will ask this question that then we'll why you are showing Tom only. Abdul is also from HR department. So the reason is the data is case sensitive. What is the meaning of case sensitive? I have written here department equals HR. Okay. So, okay, let's try to understand how this query works. So you all know that in the order of execution, first of all, from will be executed. This will be executed first of all. So engine will take, engine will search for the employee table in the database. This is your employee table, one minute. To make a copy of it, and will keep it in the temporary memory, right? So this from, so you are thinking that you have written select first, but engine starts uh, execution from keyword first. So from employee, then after from which keyword it will execute, where? It means you are asking engine to show only the department HR. So in the department column, it will focus and it will find the record where it is HR. So this is HR, correct? Don't you think this is also HR? Why I have not selected this one? Data is case sensitive in support. <laughs> because here H and R both are in uppercase, right? Here H in uppercase and R in lowercase. So we will not select this one. This is rejected. This is also rejected. So that is why finally this will be the output. Hope it is clear. Yes. This is the output, but my management is telling that then why you're not displaying Abdul, he's also from HR department. I told him that, sir, it is because data is case sensitive. I have written department is equal to HR. That is why we cannot find it because your R is in lowercase. I explained this yesterday. My manager will tell, sorry, I'm not bothered. Data is case sensitive or not. I want all the employees who are from HR department, whether it is in lowercase, uppercase, mixed case, or whatever it may be. Is the question clear? Right? Yeah. So for that, what I have written, I have written here where upper department equals HR yesterday, right? These all things I have covered yesterday. So then I got the output. Let's try to understand how this is working. I executed this query and I got this output. Now, do you think this is the correct output, guys? Yes. I'm showing all the employees from the HR department. Tom is also there. Abdul is also there. So my management is happy now that, yes, you have displayed all the employees from the HR department.
Now let's try to understand how this query is working. First of all, which keyword will be executed here? From. From. Always engine will start with from keyword first. So what is the meaning of this? So it will take Engine a copy will, from the employee uh, table, yeah. It will take a copy of the employee table in the temporary memory. Okay, then what next? From is done, then in general, go to the next one. You have written where. What is the meaning of where? It's like a filter. Uh, where means it's a filter. The moment engine will see where, it will understand that, okay, I have to apply some filter. So in where you have written upper department. Upper department means you are telling, you have to understand each and every keyword, okay. So upper department means you are telling SQL engine to convert the department data <laughs> in upper case. So engine will convert all the data of department column in upper case. Do you think all the data has been converted to upper case? Yes. So this is the task of upper department to convert all the data of department column in upper case. You see this R was in lower case. This is also converted in upper case. The cells is converted in upper case. So far clear? Okay. Now you are asking engine to compare this with HR, this one. So do you think this is same as this HR? This HR, right? Yes, they both are same. This will be selected. This is also HR. This is also selected. This is differences. This will not be selected. Hope it is clear. Now this record is coming from which data? It is coming from this record. Now this record is coming from this record. Correct. So far, any question? So net net, you have selected these two records. I will take a pause here. Do you have any question? Uh, yes, yes, sir. Hmm. Actually, one thing I wanted to ask. Um, hmm. I tried the similar thing like what we are doing on this Oracle SQL. I tried to do the same thing on SQL Server. It is not working. But, but over there, actually, every when I uh, used HR in different cases, one with the proper case, one with upper case, and one with the lower case. So I just when I'm typing where department is equal to HR in the upper case, still everything is being fetched up. Like mm -hmm. even the one which is in upper case, even the one which is in lower case, everything. So this is a common question we get in all the batches. The reason is the SQL server on this platform, what you're working, the SQL server. So when you will install it, this is open source, okay. Mm -hmm. So when you will install this, this by default, it will make it as a case insensitive. When you will do the installation of this, no. This is case insensitive. This is not case sensitive. But when you will work in your official project and when you have the SQL server licensed version, that will be case sensitive. So please don't try this on this SQL Server platform. Oh, but there, are, there is a command through which you can make this as well case sensitive. Okay. But if you will take all the common database, even this SQL Server, the licensed version I'm telling, because if you will Google now, you will find this reason that SQL Server, when you will install it, so the free version, so by default, it will be installed as a case insensitive. <clears throat> That's why you're getting all the HR. But the standard format is uh, SQL is case sensitive with data. You work on any database, Postflash, uh, Hive, Snowflake, Netiza, Taylor data. I have worked on all these databases. That's what I'm telling you. SQL is case sensitive with data and you have to be careful with that. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Any other question? No. Okay. So fine. So where condition is also done. After where where uh, engine will go to select clause. So in select, what is the functionality of select? Select. 
what is the functionality of select select is the display. Display. to display display so you have written select a star it means you are asking engine to display a star means all the columns so it will display all the columns and the data which you have selected so that is why this will be the output and you can cross verify this is what you got the output hope it is clear Yes. Fine. Any question? Okay. Now, if I will write here in this query, this lower case HR, I have covered this as well today. Then what will happen? Let's try to understand it. No data. Let's try to understand it. So if I will execute this query, let me copy this here. Tell me here which keyword will be executed first. From. From employee. So Indian will search for the employee table and it will take a copy of it, right? This is that's why you have to understand the things from the Indian perspective. So here is the copy of employee table. What next? Where? After from, engine will pick the where keyword. What is the function of where keyword? Filter. It where keyword means engine will understand that, oh, I have to apply some filter, right? Filter. Filter. So in where you have mentioned upper department. What is the functionality of upper department? Convert department all entries into a purchase. Convert all the data which is present in department column to upper case. So in department column, all the data will be converted to upper case. Please verify this. I think all the data is converted to upper case. Is it clear so far? Yes. See, if you understand the things step by step, process by process, SQL will be very easy. Okay, now what next? Then you are telling engine that, uh, okay, you have, uh, yeah. I'm having uh, one question. So yeah, yeah. we are here doing the uppercase of the department. So will it changing the actual data what we have stored? Into no, the... no. That is why I told that it will take a copy. You see, this is your actual data. This is your actual data. We are not changing. We are not working on the actual data. That is what I have told that we will take a copy of it and we'll keep it in the temporary memory. Everything is working in the temporary memory. Okay. Like here, what all I explained, you know, everything is happening in the temporary memory. Once the engine will display this, then it will delete all this sort of work what our engine has done from the temporary memory. Is it clear? Yeah, thank you. Oh, no problem. Uh, any other question? That was a very good question. Any other question? No questions. Okay. Now here you have written where upper department equals HR. It means now you are telling SQL engine to compare that with this HR, right? This, this column to compare with this HR. Okay. Do you think this is same as this? No. No, okay, rejected. Do you think this is same as this? No, no rejected. Do you think this is same as this? No. No, rejected. No. These all are rejected? That means these all are also rejected. Okay, this is done. After this, where your engine will go? Select clouds. Select a star. What is the meaning of this? To display. Display what? Display the results. The column. Not results. A star means all the columns. Display all the columns. Okay. So do you have anything to display here? Have you selected any record? No. No. So what will be the output? No data form. 
better. Got it? Okay, let me execute it. Is it clear? I think it is not clear. I think it is not clear. Okay, tell me where it is not clear, guys. Tell me, please. Is it clear to everyone? Yes or no? Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Yes. It's clear to me. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. yes. Perfect. Okay. Let me know if, if you think it's not clear. Feel free to ask questions. Don't hesitate. Okay. So I have written this query and the engine is told no data found. Okay. Fine. So let's try a few more. Uh, shall I write here? Uh, what else? Shall I write here this? What will be the output if I will run this one? One record will be there. One record will be there. Okay. Any other thought? No data, no data found. No data found. Okay. Okay. It will be the same. No data found. <laughs> no data found. So few of you are telling that we will get one record because here in this table we have one record where we have the exactly same HR. And few of you are telling <laughs> that no data found. Any other thought or suggestions? What do you think? What should be the output of this query line number six? Two records will be we'll get two records. Two records it will give. Okay. Three three suggestions I have received so far. No, it will be only one data because there is only yeah. first line. No, no data found. HR, no data found. which is in the capital. There is no data. No data. Okay. Okay. So that's good. We have received mixed set of response. I will not execute this query. First of all, let's do our own analysis. Okay. Uh, fine. So this is the query. Let's do our analysis and try to understand what is happening here. No. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was muted. Yeah. So, what I was saying, huh, this query we have to execute. So, here, which keyword will be executed first? Can you hear me, guys? I'm audible. Hello. Yes. Okay. So, here, which keyword will be executed first? From. From employee. So, what in general do I will not explain this? You guys have to tell me. From employee, what is the meaning of this? From table. From table, what? What engine has to do? Engine has to take a copy of the employee table and it has to keep it in the temporary memory, right? Okay. So, engine will take a copy in the temporary memory. Okay. From is done. Then, what next after from? Where? After from, where condition. Okay. What is the meaning of where clause? Filter. Filter. Okay, good. After where you have written upper department. What is the meaning of upper department? Means uh, in department data converted into upper case. Ha, you are telling SQL engine that please convert all the data of department column in upper case. Okay, fine. Let me do that. So all the data engine has converted in upper case. These all things are is performed by the engine internally. Okay, that's what I'm showing you. That is very important to understand how engine executes. Okay, where per department engine has done. What next? You are telling compare this with which value? This HR, correct? Okay. HR. Okay. Is it same as this? No. 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 Rejected. Is it same as this? No. 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 Rejected. Is it same as this? No, no. rejected. No. So this three is rejected, it means this three is also rejected. What is what should be the output? No data. No data. No data. Now you all are convinced with the output? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let me check what engine is telling. Hope it is clear. No data. Yes. Hope it is clear to everyone. Yes. Right. Okay. Good. Yes. 
So fine, we have seen that it is giving no data form. Now, now let's try to understand. Actually, when you're writing here upper department, and if you're writing this query, uh, may I request you guys to please go on mute. Or if you're writing this one, or if you're writing, oh, where is that? any of this combination first of all tell me one thing line number six line number seven line number eight what will be the output of these three queries no data found in all of them. no data no found. found no data found, no data found. this is giving no data found this is giving no data found this is giving no data found now see why the reason is your statement is contradictory actually. Here you are telling SQL mm -hmm. to convert everything in uppercase. Sorry, some background noise is there. Sorry, I don't want to short out the name, but please keep muted, guys. I can understand. Uh, okay, fine. Don't worry. Take care to be unmuted. I can understand. Sometimes it happens because of technical things that it will be faced. Okay, so the thing here is we have written upper department. It means you are telling SQL engine to convert everything in uppercase, correct? Correct, no? That is the meaning of upper department. If you're asking engine to convert everything in uppercase, then why you're converting this with a mixed case value? This one, this one, this one. That is a contradictory, no? That engine is also confused. That in if Sanvir is trying to match with this lowercase values, then why it has asked me to convert in uppercase? Now you apply your common sense from this perspective. Don't you think this is contradictory statement? Yeah, actually, can we have wanted to ask the same thing? Can we mm -hmm. write upper on both the sides? Like upper department is equal that, to upper of HR. That, that I will explain after this. Okay. So first of all, let's stick <laughs> let's stick to this. So why this all is telling no data form? Because that is a contradictory statement. You are telling to convert in uppercase, but then you are trying to, to match data with the lowercase values as well. So that is why that poor engine is thinking that Tanvir is searching with the lowercase and why it has asked me to convert in uppercase. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So net net now the ultimate answer is ultimate answer is. Whenever you're writing upper, this value has to be in upper case. Is it clear? Then only this will give you the output. This is the ready-made answer. But hope you understood the background the reason for this, how it is working. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, then uh, someone asked me that <coughs> then we're okay, fine. This query we have executed and it is not giving the expected result. This is telling no data found. So, what if I write here upper? I think this is what you're asking. Yes. Okay. Again, let's not execute it. First of all, analyze this and then we will execute. Let's come here. This is the query. Which keyword will be executed first? From. From keyword. What is the functionality of from keyword? To search for the employee table and take a copy. Okay, yes. correct. Search for this table, it will make a copy here. This is done. Then which keyword will be executed? Yeah. Where keyword, okay. We'll execute the where keyword. What is the task of where keyword? Filter. Filter condition. Engine will understand that, okay, I have to apply some filter. Then you have written upper department. What is the task of upper department? To convert the data all in upper case. Okay, let me convert all in upper case. So do you think all the records has been converted to uppercase? Yes. 
Yes. So far clear. We have discussed this already. Then you want to compare this with which value <coughs> upper of HR. You want to compare this with upper of HR. So upper of HR means upper of HR means okay. Tell me one thing. What will be the output of this upper of HR? What is the meaning of this upper of HR? To convert this order letter into upper case. Yes. So you will get this HR. Correct now. You are telling yes. to convert this HR in upper case. So it means this HR. Now you are telling compare this with upper department. It means you want to compare this with this. Are they both same? Yes. Yes. Are they both same? Yes. This is not same. This is rejected. So it means this two records will be selected. Is it clear? Yes. So now if I will run this query, you should get this as an output. Let's check what engine is giving the output. This is as per our analysis. Now let's check what engine is giving us. Same output. Yes. Clear. Now see here, nothing new I taught you in this query line number 10, nothing new I have taught you. Have I taught you any new concept here? Nothing new. The same thing. And even you guys have told me, I have not told anything. You guys told me that first of all, from will be executed. It will take a copy. And then where is the functionality is to filter out. Then upper department, it will convert all the department in upper case. Then it will compare that with upper of HR. Upper of HR means upper the functionality of upper is to convert in upper case. So this HR will be converted in upper case. Now mm -hmm. you will compare this with the upper of department. So it is comparing it. They both are same. It will be selected. But this is the benefit of learning something from the engine perspective. You'll be able to derive things. Hope it is clear. Shall I proceed further? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, I will take a pause here for one minute. Okay, and I want to understand a quick feedback, not from all of you, just two, three feedbacks I want. Uh, I, I will teach all the concepts in this way, whether you use joins, window functions, set operators, all these things. Maybe that will be time consuming. I have committed for 10 weeks. Sometime maybe it will be stretched to 11 weeks or 12 weeks. I'm telling it really early. So don't tell me at the end of the session that you have told for 10 weeks, it, has, it, it is increased to 11 weeks. It can happen, okay. Do you want to proceed in this way or you want a little bit less in detail analysis? Just one or two feedback I want. This is good. This is good, okay. sir. This way is fine. This is good, that, yeah, this this way is good. good sir. Okay, okay, got it, got it, fine then. But if anyone thinks that uh, it is uh, killing time or it is more time consuming, you don't have time, you have interview in lineup, you want to finish it up early and all, all those things, so please connect with me on my personal window because I have to go with the majority. Okay, fine. Then. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay, fine. No issues. So now let's proceed further. This is upper department. I have explained. Hope you understood. Now, mm -hmm. similarly, we have a lower keyword and that I will not explain. You guys have to think and you have to tell me the answer for that. Okay, one minute. Hold on, don't tell anything. I'm not asking any output from you. Hold on. I've written this query. Suppose we don't know what is this, what is this lower and all this. I've just written this query. Let's first of all do the analysis and then we'll see what engine is, is giving the output for this. Okay. So this is the lower. <clears throat> Okay, I'm not told anything about lower, forget it. In this query, if I'm executing, which keyword will be executed first? From, from. from keyword. Okay, from keyword means you are telling SQL engine that SQL, please search for the employee table and take a copy of it in the temporary memory, right? So engine will do that. It has taken a copy, it has kept this in the temporary memory. Clear? Nothing new so far, you know this? Okay. After from which keyword? Um, hi, Tanvi. Yeah, hi. Yeah, tell me. 
Yeah, so one question. You means hmm. whenever we are uh, taking, we are creating the copy of that table. Uh-huh. If having millions of records, still we are taking the copy. Then will it impact the performance? Ah, uh-huh. <laughs> there comes the concept of indexing and all those things. So I will explain you that. Okay, okay. but taking the copy doesn't take much time. Okay, because mm-hmm. it is not analyzing it. You see, copy mm-hmm. paste doesn't take much time. Mm-hmm. But picking a particular set of records from a file that takes time. Okay. okay. Why engine? Uh, why engine takes time, or why the performance uh, mm-hmm. get impacted? Because if we, when you will give tasks to engine, where it has mm-hmm. to perform more tasks, then it takes time. But copy paste doesn't take much time. Okay. We will discuss though, all the performance aspects. Okay. Everything. Even though we are having millions and billions of records, still it will not impact, right? Ah, that that doesn't impact much. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. No problem. Ah, uh, what else I was telling? Ah, uh, okay. From employee is done. It has taken a copy here. Then after this, from what next? Where keyword? Where? Okay. What is the functionality of where keyword? Filter. To apply filter. Filter. Okay. So the moment engine will see there is a where keyword, it will understand that okay, I have to apply filter. Then here, here you have written lower depart. Ah, uh, now hold on here. When engine will see here, this is lower department. Again, some background noise. Okay. okay. So when the engine will see this, when the engine will see this lower department, what it will do? It will. It will. You guys tell me what it will do. It will convert all the entries in the HR column, sorry, department column into lower case. That's all. It will convert all the entries of department column in lower case. Correct. Now, please check. Do you think all the entries is converted in lower case? This is converted in lower case. This is converted in lower case. This is also converted in lower case. It is clear. Is it yes. clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then what next after that? After that, we have written equals HR. What is the meaning of this? Hmm. Then you are telling compare this with this HR. Do you think this is same as this? No. No. Yes, it is same. Don't you think both are same? Yes, yes. Sorry, my bad. They both are same, right? Yes, sir. Do you think they both are same? Yes. Correct. Yes. This is not same. This will be rejected. So this two record we have selected, and this two record we have derived from here. So this two records are also selected. And then at the last, you have selected star. It means you want to display all the columns. So it means they should be dot. But this is as per my analysis. I'm not telling this is right or wrong. We will check what engine is going to give dot put right. This is as per our analysis. Then we will check what engine is <laughs> going to give dot put. So far, tell me in this discussion, anything new I taught you? No, sir. Nothing new. Nothing new. If you will check this analysis, this is exactly same as analysis what we have done for upper. In upper, we converted everything to upper case. Here we converted everything to lower case. That's all. Got it? Let me check the output of the engine. Are you getting the same output? Are you getting the same output, guys? Yes, so yes. So hope you understood. So you can use either upper or lower. It is your wish. Now I have a question. In this query, now you have to listen very carefully. Then give me that. So don't be in a hurry. In this query, if I will execute this one, then what will be the output? No data. No data. No data. No data. No data. Okay. Okay, any other thought? Any other thought? 
you all have a query yeah i have a doubt here yeah, yeah. so the data here is not case sensitive like if we have lowered it and then the department in the output is like in i'm not getting what you're telling data is not case sensitive uh, it is case sensitive yeah but uh, lowered we have department and then the output uh, is in caps lock and h and h is capital how come this tell me the row number in which you are talking here which row number you are talking 42 uh, after the like the result what we are getting so department yeah hmm. ha ah, yeah tell me. we have lowered uh, the department right so hmm. it should good, good 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 question good question the question is that then we you have lowered the department case here then how it is coming this in upper case and this is in mixed case that is your question right yes is that your question is yes. that your question okay that's a very good question anyone who wants to answer this very good question that here then we you told that we will uh, convert this department in lower case you have converted in lower case but still in the output we have shown that indian is displaying this hr in upper case and this is in mixed case all is happening but here you told that we are converting this in lower case then how it is anyone who wants to answer this Yeah, yeah they are not uh, converting that actual data. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Lot of background noise. I don't want to call out the name. I will request. Please uh, keep muted, guys. Okay. Yeah. Please go ahead. Who will answer this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they are not actually converting so, the data. We are converting oh. it temporarily. Good. 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 Yes. Correct. Any correct. Other? Correct. Yeah. You see, that is what I told. These all things what we are doing. No, this is happening in the temporary memory. This conversion happens in the temporary memory. I am not converting the data of the parent table here. No, that I have not done. And this value, this we have selected. So engine will not display this. Engine will check this is coming from which record. This is coming from this record, right? So it will pick the data of the original table. This is coming from here. and this is coming from here so engine will not display this this is happening in the temporary in the rough rough area this is the rough area in examination mathematics paper will give that will get that rough page no but we will not submit that rough page so this is the rough page so this is your final output so this value is coming from here so engine will display this one so you are converting in lower case i agree but where you are converting in temporary area Hope it is clear. Yes, it's clear. My bad. Are you sure it is clear, or you are assuming it is clear? Tell no, no, it's clear. It's clear. Yeah, it's clear. yeah clear. I just okay. got good, it. Good, 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 good. good. Okay, now coming to this one. What will be the output of this query? No data found. No data. No data found. No data found. Any other thought? You all agree with no data found? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Fine. Let's analyze this again. I know you might be feeling bored, but let me analyze this finally. This is the last analysis. From employee will be executed first. So this is your from employee. In the beginning, I will recommend uh, request everyone the same analysis. What I am doing when you will be work, working on the assignment questions, please do the same analysis. Even if you know again. <laughs> <laughs> Again, do it. Trust me, this will help you a lot when you'll be writing complex queries. So, <laughs> sorry. Uh, one minute. So, this is your from employee table. This is done. After from employee, engine will execute this where clause. The meaning of where is to apply filter. Engine will understand that. Okay, have to apply filter. After where you have written lower department. The lower department meaning is to convert department in lower case. So we converted in lower case. Is all are converted in lower case. Okay. Then I have to compare this with upper case HR. Okay, so is this same as this? No. 
rejected is this same as this no rejected no. is the same as this no rejected so all the records are rejected so output will be no data found now let's check what is the engine output so engine is also telling no data found clear hope it is clear Okay. If I will run this query, what will be the output? No data. No data found. No data found. Okay. No data found. So net net, what we understood? If you're writing lower here, this must has to be in lower case. So this was your upper, and this was in lower. Net net story. The conclusion is. If you are not sure the data saved in your table is in which case, upper case or lower case, then you have to play either with upper or lower. If you're writing lower, this value must has to be in lower case. Or if you are <coughs> writing upper, then this value must has to be in upper case. This is the net summary. We are done with upper and lower. Do you have any question before I proceed to the next topic? No, sir. Hope it is clear to everyone. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. Good. Now I want to proceed with the order by or where condition. Which one should I teach? Where condition I should teach first the order by order by. Okay. Okay, now I will teach you order by. I thought of covering where clause with and operator or operator. That I will explain after some time. Let me cover this order by first. Null. Okay, let me cover null first. This is important concept. Someone has asked question yesterday as well. You know, almost 10 to 20% complexity in SQL is because of null. Those who already know SQL, maybe you will agree with me. Those who are fresher, this null will be a new concept for you. If you are if you're planning to attend interview, I'm almost 95% sure you will get <laughs> at least one question from null. I'm very much sure. At least one question from null will be there. So whatever I'll be teaching you down the line, uh, joins, window function, or whatever it may be, I'll be telling you how they behave with null. But before that, we have to understand what is null, okay? So, so for this, suppose, 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 I have a small retail outlet, okay? I have a retail outlet. There is a column transaction ID, transaction amount. Transaction ID is one, transaction amount is 100. So what you understood from this data, can you tell me? I have not asked any tough question that you guys are taking time. Transaction ID one, transaction amount 100. You got 100, 100. You got 100. Transaction. Ah, you got 100 rupees for some transaction with the transaction ID 1. Very simple, correct? Okay. Transaction ID 2, value is 0. What you understood from this? No money received from the second transaction. 
Correct. There was some second transaction, but no transaction amount was zero. Maybe this was a replacement order. Or maybe this was a return order. Correct. No. Some maybe sometimes it happens. If you are going to return, they will give you a new invoice or new bill as well for the return as well because they have to make that in the book of accounts. Transaction ID two. Transaction amount is zero. This is also practical scenario. Clear. Okay. Now transaction ID three. Transaction ID three. This is blank. I asked my accountant that why you have kept it blank. Now listen very carefully. My accountant told that this transaction ID three is completed, but that payment we have not received. Customer has initiated, and at his end it is passed. So we are just waiting for the exact number. So once we will receive that uh, number, we will update it here. You understood that scenario? So that's why accountant yeah. has kept it blank. It means he is waiting for the number, exact transaction amount, but he is sure that what was the transaction amount. He is sure the transaction has completed. He is sure that customer has initiated the transaction. Everything is done. Just waiting for the transaction amount. Clear? So far, clear all these three scenarios. Yes. Okay. Next is transaction ID four. The value is null. This is the interesting one. I asked my accountant that why you have placed null here. Listen very carefully. He told that then we I am not sure. That for this transaction ID four, <clears throat> it completed successfully or not? Or uh, maybe it is failed. Or maybe customer has not initiated the transaction. Or maybe customer has initiated the transaction, but we have not received it. Or maybe we have received, but I have not received the exact transaction amount. So in this case, your accountant is not sure that what exactly happened. Is it clear? Is it clear, guys? Yes. Many times in your business it happens. Customer initiated the transaction, but you don't know what happened about the numbers, about the values, and all those things. So in those cases, when you're not sure exactly what happened, whether the transaction completed successfully or not, or whether it is failed. You're just playing with the assumption. You see, I asked my accountant that why you play, put it null here. He is not sure what exactly happened. So when in your business transaction you're not sure what exactly happened, we mark it as a null. This is your null. So null is nothing but a bucket of assumptions because you don't know the exact thing what exactly happened here. You understood what is null, guys? Yes. Okay, so yes. this is your null. Now, <clears throat> what I was telling, let me remove this from here. Now I'm creating this department table. I have this ready-made script. No, this is. <coughs> you might be thinking that maybe you have written number here, but you taught to write int. You can write int or you can write number your wish. You might be thinking that maybe you have written varchar two here. Again, you can write varchar or varchar two. They both will work. Okay. Okay, I want to see the data of this department table. You know, this is the query select star from department, right? Correct? Any question? 
now do you think this output is in sorted is this output sorted no ascending or descending on no same question someone asked me yesterday that tell me this is not sorted but i want to sort this and sorting is a very practical real time use case you all know that we want the data to be sorted so the requirement is i want to sort this data based on the employee id so whenever you want to sort the data you have to write order by the moment you write order by the sql engine will understand that oh user wants me to sort the data correct then the sql engine will ask you that you want to sort based based on which column then you have to tell i want to sort based on the employee id now if i will run this query please check the output do you think this is sorted yes clear yes it is it is sorted in which order ascending no, ascending order. ascending order yeah. ascending order, ascending right? order. From lowest to highest, sorted in ascending order. Serial wise. Oh yeah. So now you can ask question that tell me I want to sort this in descending order, not ascending. So that case, what you have to do? You have to write D E S C. D E S C means descending. So when I will execute this query, check the output. Now, do you think it is sorted in descending order? Hope it is clear. Yes, sir. But uh, yesterday you have thought about that. Uh, uh, I mean, D S C for description. Description. Yeah. Mm, good, 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 good. One minute. Question number thirteen. Read this question. Yeah, have you read this question? Yes, sir. Now tell me the answer for this. Question number thirteen. Descending. Okay. Descending and uh, describing. Descending. Got it. Yep. So Got when it. you're writing D S C with the table name, engine will take it as a describe. But the same D S C when you will write after order by, engine will take it as a descending. So this is the only keyword which performs entirely different functionality. Same keyword but entirely different functionality. And then we we'll describe for all the database. No, no, no. This describe works only on Oracle. For SQL Server, you have to show employee table that I will share the syntax. But but DSC descending is in all the database, Postgres, SQL Server, MySQL, everywhere. DSC is descending. You can try that. Okay. Is it clear? No, not clear. I think it is not clear. Let me show this to you. It is not clear one yet. It's your SQL Server database. So on SQL Server, you have to write INT. Is my screen visible? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Let me zoom it a little bit. It's not able to zoom. I'm not able to zoom this one yet. Zoom button control plus. Okay, anyway. Fine. So here INT will take where care to will not work on SQL Server. You have to write where care. Okay. Let me create this table. <laughs> Ignore all this error message. I will tell you why this error message is coming. And ignore the script to what I am writing now. Don't think that suddenly what the video is writing all this. Let's ignore all the system. Okay. The background noise is there. Oh my God, it's disturbing the class. 
Akif, can you please go on mute? Yeah, thank you. Okay, I have this department table curated. Let's check it. This is a department table, right? Now order by employee descending. Check the output. Is it sorted in descending order? Yes or yes, no? Yes, yes, yes. Sir. Okay, okay understood. This is working in SQL Server as well. But in the beginning, I, I will tell you one thing. Don't do all this research of trying on multiple database. In interview, no one is going to ask you a question that run this query on Postgres, run this on MySQL or SQL Server. Don't get confused with all these things. Don't do research on all this. Use this system. If you will understand one keyword from one database that is applicable on all the database, otherwise you will get a lot of confusion. You will run this query on this database and that database will get a lot of confusion. But your wish, if you are interested, you can do that. I don't have any concern. Okay, so hope it is clear. Fine. Okay, so I executed this query. This is the output. Now, uh, now here, uh, then my management is telling that then we okay fine you have sorted based on the employee ID ascending descending. Uh, can you show an employee name? I want to sort an employee name. Okay, so you have to write your employee name. Can you please check? Is it sorted in ascending order employee name? Can you please verify this? Please verify this. Yes. Okay. If your question is that, no, I want to sort this in descending order of employee name. So write here DESC. Please verify this. Is it sorted in descending order of employee name? Okay. Hope it is clear. It's that much. Sure, it's clear or not. Clear to everyone. I'm not taking healthy response, not sure. If you want me to repeat, please tell me, guys, I will repeat this. Very yes, it's clear. Yes, yeah. sir. Clear. Okay. Now, if I write AAC, the meaning of AAC is ascending. Okay. Now, check the output. Is it sorted in ascending order? Correct. So, <laughs> you write AAC or you don't write AAC. If you not write AAC, engine by default will sort this in ascending order. But if you want to write it, your wish, you can write it as well. Okay, but if you will not write it by default, engine will sort this in ascending order. Hope it is clear. Order by Tanvir, I have one doubt. Can we do yeah. like order by department name? Yes, you can do that as well. You can do that as well. Okay, but I have doubt like how engine will understand mm. like what? in employee ID like one, two, three. Or like sequences there in employee mm -hmm. name of A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. So, but in department name like HR, like mm -hmm. a string value is there. So okay. how it will order? Oh, okay, okay. Your question is that, okay, in employee ID, there was only one character. Employee name, there was only one character. But in department name, I have multiple characters. How it will decide, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I will come to that. <laughs> Just give me a few more minutes. I will come to that. That's the next topic, actually. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm have some rough talk. <coughs> Where is this one? Yet? For example, Raj. Hmm. Raj, no, not this one. Yeah. That example of one. Let me take this example. So far, what I taught you about order by hope it is clear to everyone. Yes, it is clear. Hope it is clear to everyone. Yes. Right. Okay. okay, good.
Okay, now listen very carefully. I'm telling you one thing. I have this ready-made script of create table and insert. I have copied from my notes. You might have seen that. When I executed it, engine is throwing error message. The reason is, you see it is saying name is already used. The reason is, if you will see here, I have already created a table with the name employee, correct? So engine will not allow you to create one more table with the same name, that is not allowed. So when I'm trying to create the employee table again, engine is not allowing me. So what we understood in a database, you cannot create two tables with the same name. I hope it is clear. Yes. Okay. So then I have to change the name of this. So maybe I will write here EMP. Okay. So if you're getting this error message, you change the name. Or, or I will tell you one, one more technique for this, but I will not explain that in detail. Excuse me. If you're getting this error message, do one thing, but I will not tell you in detail now. Execute this command, drop table. You might be thinking, what is this drop? I will not tell you now. But if you will execute this command, so previous table which you have created, it will be deleted. Table drop, it means the previous employee table which you have created, and that is dropped. Now you can create this table. Now see, table is created. Okay. Now if you want to check the output, you can check it. Hope it is clear. Now, here again, I want to sort the name. Okay, the first name based on the ascending order or descending order, whatever it is. Let me show this. I will not execute this break now. Let's analyze this first of all. Which keyword will be executed first? From, from employee. Well, let me do one thing here. <clears throat> Order of execution. From join Actually, this is the order of execution, okay? But don't try to by hard this. So we will we will work on this at least 200 to 300 times during the course or more than that. So automatically you will remember this sequence, okay? Don't try to by hard this. <clears throat> From employee. So in general, take a copy of the employee tip. You know that, right? Okay, so here you have this copy. Clear. After from which keyword will be executed? Sorry. Where do you Select. have layer in this query? Order by. Select. 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 Order by comes after select. So from you have executed. So then you will 
come to select right then order by will come right now select what we have mentioned you want to display all the columns you want to display all these columns okay fine i want to display all these columns okay <clears throat> Then you have order by first name. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of order by? It means you are telling engine to sort based on the first name. Ascending or descending, I have not mentioned anything there. So it is ascending or descending. Ascending by default. Ascending by default. Now listen very carefully. Order by is not simple. People think it is very simple, but this is not simple actually. Let's try to understand. Now your engine will focus on the first name column. Correct? Because you have told order by first name, right? Okay. Now engine will focus on the first characters of each and every data. First character of R. First character of Suraj is S. First character of Santosh is S. First character of Rohan is R. First character of Rohit is R. Okay. Ignore all the other characters. Concentrate on the first character. Say so sending order R comes first or S comes first? R. I think it is not visible. Ascending order R comes first, you all agree, right? Correct, no? Yes. Yes, yes. So it means all with R should be displayed at the top. So let me keep this. Keep this. Keep this. Okay, this is clear. Now, Raj, Rohan, Rohit, these all have first character R, right? These all have first character R. Which color should be? These all have first character R. Now, in this, there will be a conflict. Listen very carefully. In this, there will be a conflict. Rajkumar will tell that I have first character R. Rohan Sharma will tell that, okay, I also have first character R. I want to be in the first place. Rohit Kumar will tell, I also have first character R. I also want to be in first place. Now tell me that engine will be confused or not. What to do? Yes. Do you think to be confused? Because they all are valid. Raj is telling I have first character R. Rohan is also telling I have first character R. I want to be in first place. Rohit Kumar will tell that no, I want to be in first place. I also have first character R. Now, what engine will do? you tell me, guys? You will go for second letter. Second letter. Good, good, good. good. Like how we search in dictionary. Yes, yes, yes. In dictionary wise. Anyway, you're right. It will check the next character. In Raj, next character is A. In Rohan, next character is O. In Rohit, next character is O. Now, in Raj, next character is A. Rohan, next character is O. Rohit, next character is O. So now Raj will tell that, okay, second character, I have A. So I should, give, I should be given more preference. Is that correct? Yes. 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 So based on this... <laughs> We will keep Raj Kumar at the top. You all agree? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, now Rohan Sharma and Rohit Kumar will fight. Yeah. Rohan Sharma will tell that okay, I have second character, or Rohit is also having second character, right? So Rohit mm -hmm. can tell that no, I want to be in second position. Why you kept Rohan Sharma in the second position, right? Then what in general do? Go for it. Go Let's for the next as, character. Yeah, next character. Next character is H. Which both are same. Okay. Again, they both are same. So what engine will do? Can engine take some decision here? Yes or no? No. So again, search for another character. Then engine will go to the next character. This is H. 
this is i can anyone take some decision now yes yes so rohan sharma will be kept on the second position rohit kumar will be kept at the third position so now they all are happy with this sequence because engine has given a strong justification is this clear yes yes, yes. okay now coming to the s part suraj mathur santosh mukherjee they all have first character s do you think engine will be confused or not yes okay what engine will do consider the next the character next character is you <coughs> the next character is a what in general do can it take some decision yeah sandesh will be on fourth place and suraj will be the last good so now in general will again reshuffle this and this santosh mukherjee it will keep at the fourth place and suraj mathur will be at the last place is this clear let me run this query and check the output i'm not sure what will be the output let's verify it and please tell me is this the same what we have analyzed this is the output of your engine are you getting the same output are you getting the same yes, output yes 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 so yes, so you understood how it works Yes. Yes. Okay. Fine. So this is how engine executes. Now hold on. Don't think that order by is over. It will go for next one two plus. Now in all this task, what engine has done? It has taken a copy. It has checked first character, second character, third character, and again here. Don't you think engine has to do a lot of task here? because this is just 5 6 records what if i have 10 million records and if you asking him to sort it it has to do a lot of tasks don't you agree yes okay. yes now <clears throat> nowadays especially after 2014 or 15 performance is a very important parameter for any project because especially i have seen after 14 15 there is a huge volume of data used to handle before that it was not a scenario the data was not that much huge because uh, even not having that real time uh, streaming that kafka and the social media platforms were not there so the volume of data was very less so the performance was not impacted uh, badly but nowadays performance is a very important parameter right even if you are launching an app if it is taking more than 5 second or 10 second we feel irritated right so that's a performance is a very important thing and the sql query that's one of the important topic many of you have asked the question yesterday as well that will you cover performance optimization all those things performance is something is a topic which we cover in each and every concepts of the keywords now here let's try to understand the performance aspect first of all if anyone is asking you about performance whether interviewer or in your project if you have a discussion if anyone is asking you about performance that okay this query what will the performance impact i am telling you one formula for that first of all think that this query is giving how much task to the sql engine if the number of task which engine has to perform is more performance will be less If the number of tasks which engine has to perform is less performance will be more it means performance and the number of tasks are inversely proportional because if engine has to do less tasks it can fetch the data quickly if engine has to perform more <coughs> more tasks it will take a lot of time to fetch you the data and it will you know, it will impact the performance is that clear so whenever someone is asking you about performance so what you will check you have to check the number of tasks what engine has to perform is that clear yes sir okay yes so this order by what i have written order by here you have to be very careful before using it i agree this will sort the data and all those things but down the line when i will teach you sub queries when i will teach you ct expressions i will tell you where not to use order by 
I have seen when I review the code of my peers, uh, in the, when, when even they are preparing those data pipelines, or if analyst is working, they're preparing those dashboards. I will see two things are very common and blindly people are using. After select blindly, they will write this thing. And at the last, they will blindly write order by. Maybe those who are working in the project, you might have seen this. So please stop this habit. This badly impacts the performance. If sorting is not required, don't write order by. If you know the data are unique, don't write distinct. Oh, sorry, distinct, I'm not covered. Leave that, leave that. So order by, don't write it blindly anywhere. I will tell you where to use, where not to use. Because in order by, you see, engine has to do a lot of tasks. I've shown you right now, right? It will check the first character. If it is not able to judge, then it will check the next character. Then again, it will go to the next character. A lot of effort engine has to put in here. And when it will take a lot of tasks, so automatically, automatically it needs more time. And then the execution, uh, the result when it will give you, that will again, it will take more time, right? So hope it is clear, guys. Yes, sir. I am having one question actually. Oh, yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, so in the first name you are saying like it will check for the letter by letter, right? So uh, character wise, uh, vice versa. So uh, what if uh, um, a table uh, having uh, same Raj Kumar and uh, I mean Raj Sharma like that? So how it will be going to display? So which uh, the I mean uh, which record it will be fetched first? Okay, good question. There's all scenarios we have in the assignment, and we will discuss it down the line. But to quickly answer your question, that's a good use case you have asked. That okay, fine. Then we're here. The engine can can take a decision. But sometimes what happens? Engine will not be able to take a decision. Like suppose if I have Raj Kumar, and if I have Raj Kapoor, you right. So do you think based on the first name Rajinjan can take any decision? No. That is no. In that case, there is a concept of row ID. Okay, that I will not explain now. That we will discuss at the very last of this training course. But for the time being, we teach our student that here, this is the totally wish of the SQL engine. It can display anything first or anything after that. It's a wish of SQL engine. Maybe it can display Rajkumar or maybe it can display Raj Kapoor. Uh, but if in your project requirement, if you have that, no, I want to display Raj Kumar and then Raj Kapoor or Raj Kapoor, then Raj Kumar, then I will tell you that how to sort based on the two columns combinations. Okay. Yeah. Hope I answered your question. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So net net, if the first name is not able to, uh, engine is not able to take any decision, it's the wish of engine. It can display anything first, anything after that. Any other question? See, order by is not over. Just 20, 30 percent have covered. Order by has a lot of more concepts. <laughs> we'll discuss it. So far, do you have any question, guys? No, Tanvir. No questions. Okay, shall I proceed then? Yes. Okay. Now I will take this example. This is what actually you're asking, right? Yes, yes, then exactly. Yes. Yeah. Actually, you know, intentionally many times we have to go in an incremental manner, step by step. Okay, because in the beginning it's like we are feeding you. We have to go spoon feeding. Very slowly we have to go because we have participants from various background. So we cannot teach all the things in one go. So, but, but all the things, what you might be thinking, we, we have all those scenarios, but you're free to ask questions. If any new scenario comes to your mind, you please keep on asking it. We appreciate it. Okay, now let's come to this one, new employee table. Now listen here very carefully. I'm executing this query. No, first of all, this is the new employee table. This is a new employee table.
Okay, and this is the theory. <laughs> Background noise is there. Sorry, please go on mute, guys. Okay. Now here, in this output, we're asking engine to sort based on the first name in ascending order, right? Order by first name ascending order. So all the R are displayed on the top, and then you have Oh, sorry, this as well. Then you have this one, right? Correct. Can you tell me why engine has displayed Raj Karan before Raj Kishore? Can anyone tell me? So just now, as we discussed, it will be based on the stickler against choice, whichever. Rajit wants to display for can use that one. Correct. So here you see the Raj, R A G and R A G. They both are same. Can engine take any decision? No, no, it cannot take any decision. Even for this Raj Kumar, all are exactly same. All the characters of the first name column is exactly same. Now it is the wish of SQL engine. It can display Raj Karan at the top or Raj Kishore at the top or Raj Kumar at the top. I cannot give you any explanation for this. Is it clear? Mm. Yes. But now can you tell me why Rohan Sharma is displayed after Raj? Yeah, Four because characters. of the fourth character. Because after R it is A and after R it is O, correct? So O comes after A. That is why Rohan Sharma we have displayed after Raj, correct? Yes. Is it clear? <coughs> but in Rohit Kumar also we have a O after R, no? Then why Rohit Kumar is coming after Rohan Sharma? Yeah, because of the fourth character. What fourth character? R Sorry, can you explain? The first in the fourth character in the first name. ROHA hmm. and ROHI. So A has a greater hmm. incidence over I. Hmm. So here, after R, it is O. After R, it is O. They both are same. The engine will go to the next character. After O, this is H. After O, it is H. Again, it is same. Engine cannot take any decision. Then after H, it is A. After H, it is I. So A comes before I. That's why you have Rohan Sharma, then Rohit Kumar. Hope it is clear. Okay. Yes. Then why uh, Suraj Mukherjee is displayed before Suraj Mathur? Again, same thing. Based on the first name, engine cannot take any decision, so it can display randomly. Clear? Yes. Sanveer, uh, I have hmm. one doubt. Like, if engine mm -hmm. yeah. uh, is not able to decide, like, uh, how to sort, if like a uh, first name is same, so hmm. does it case like it will go like how data got inserted? Ah, In it that goes by that. That is that is the that is the concept of row ID. I will tell you that after some time. <laughs> okay, but ignore that for the timing, please. That is nowhere related here. Okay. Okay. Okay, now, now I have shown this result to my management team or to my manager. They told that, okay, fine, then this is perfect. But they have given a new requirement. You know what? They are telling that, then we okay, fine, you are sorting based on the first name. I will stop the session in another five minutes. Don't worry. I know it's two hours, is a little bit exhausted. So they are telling that, fine, then we are sorting based on the first name. That is okay. But do one thing. When there is a conflict based on the first name, conflict means if two records have the same first name, then sort based on the last name. <clears throat> what they told? That then we, if there is a conflict based on the first name, then sort based on the last name. So this is what they are telling. Now see here. 
Do you think this three record, there is a conflict, yes or no? Yes. Yes. So then engine will check the next condition. What is the next condition? Last name. So engine will check the last name of all these three, first character. Can engine take any decision based on the first character of the last name? Yes or no? No. No, they all are same. K, K, K. Okay. Then it will go to the next character. Next is A here. It is I. It is you. Can engine take some decision now? Yes, only we have a way. Yes. So that's where Raj Karan will be displayed at the top. And then Raj Kishore. And then Raj Kumar. Is it clear? Yeah. Now coming to Rohan Kumar and Rohit. Oh, Rohan Kumar and Rohit Sharma, there is no conflict because they both are entirely different. Okay, let me keep it here. What about Suraj Mukherjee and Suraj Mathur? Is there a conflict based on the first name? Yes. Yes. Then Indian will go to the last name. What is the first character? M. Okay, the first character is M. Can Indian take some decision based on the first character? No. No. Then what it will do? It will go to the next character. This is U. And this is A. Can Indian take some decision based on this? Yes. Which one will come first? Mathur. 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 Now I'm executing this query to please verify the output whether our understanding is correct or not. This is the output of your engine. Is it same what we have analyzed? Yes. Hope it is clear. Yes. Any question? No. Okay. Okay. Now one last scenario I want to discuss here. If I will write here D E S C, I will not execute this. I want you guys to think and tell me. Just uh, Share your thoughts. I'm not telling I want the exact answer. Share your thoughts. What is the meaning of this query? The results should be displaying descending order here. Yeah? Okay. See, the meaning of this query is you are telling SQL engine to sort based on the first name. First of all, try to understand the meaning of the query. You are telling SQL engine to sort based on the first name. If there is any conflict on the first name, then you are telling engine to go to the last name. Then engine will go to the last name. But then it will sort based on the last name in descending order. Like Raj, Raj, Raj. Is there a conflict in the first name? No. Yes, there's a conflict in the first name. No, they all are Raj. There's a conflict, right? You agree or not? There's a conflict, right? They all are Raj. Yes. They all are same. Yes. There's a conflict. They all are same. So in general, we'll go to the last name. But in which order you want to sort based on the last name? Descending. So which one will come first? Karan, Kishore, or Kumar? Kumar. 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 Then Kishore, then Rajkaran. Is this clear? Rohan, Sharma, and Rohit Kumar. Is there any conflict? No. No. It will keep it as it is. Suraj Mathur, Suraj Mukherjee, Suraj Mathur. Is there any conflict? Yes. Then what in general do? <coughs> uh. 
Second last thing. But first. which order you want? Descending. 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 So which one will come first? Suraj Mukherjee. Mukherjee will come first. Now, I will execute this query, and I want you guys to please verify this. This one. Tell me, is this the same output what we have analyzed here? Yes. Yes. Understood? Okay, now see, misconception. Many people, they have misconception. Whenever I take interview, they will tell me that then we're here descending, you have written. So this descending is on first name and last name. It means engine will sort based on the first name descending. If there is a conflict, it will sort based on the last name descending. Is this correct concept? No, no. No, no. Sir. So please, the misconceptions, what I'll be teaching you in the entire course. If possible, if you want, please make a note. Uh, almost 40, 50 misconceptions I'll be teaching during the course. Here, it doesn't mean that descending is for last name and first name both. No, first name will work based on the ascending because you have not mentioned anything here. So it is ascending. This descending is for last name only. This last name will come into picture when there is a conflict in the first name. If all the values are unique, engine will never go to the last name column. This is all about order by. I will stop. <laughs> I will stop here. <laughs> we will share assignment questions today. By end of the day, I have to work on that. So <laughs> now those who want to drop, you can drop. But if you have any question, you please go ahead. You can ask now. And now you can ask question from anywhere. You are free. Because this will be not a part of the class today. Yes, please go ahead. Uh, sir, I have a doubt regarding uh, null, sir. Ah, yeah, tell me. Uh, actually, like uh, what you have told is that if null it is present, like transaction mm. might have happened or like it might not start sure. somewhere. Uh, ah, yeah. I'm not sure if the transaction happened or not. This is a bucket yeah, of presumptions yeah. for me. I'm not sure what exactly happened. And what that are the uh, two, I'll, I mean, th third row is empty. So what we should think of it like transaction has happened. This is blank. Uh, this uh, is blank. I'm sure the transaction has happened, but I'm waiting for data here. Yeah, uh, like in, it is similar to null no, sir. No, no, not similar. In blank, you are sure the transaction has happened. You are waiting for the number. But in null case, are you sure the transaction has happened? Uh, no, no, we are not You're sure. You're not sure? Yeah. Maybe transaction would have happened. Maybe transaction failed. Maybe transaction has succeeded, but you have not received the receipt. A lot of things are there. I'm not sure. But here in case of blank, I'm sure the transaction has happened. I'm just waiting for number. In another one, two hours or one or two days, I will get the number. I will update it here. But here, I'm not sure transaction happened or not. Customer has initiated or not. Or customer <coughs> has closed the transaction. I'm not sure about anything. That's a we keep it as a null. Yeah, and so like the zero... I mean, uh, zero is clear is... cut. No transition. No transition ID was there, but there was no transition. Okay. This is zero. Zero is clear cut. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Any other question? Uh, sir, actually, you told that there is no conflict with uh, Raj. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, wanted uh, some mm -hmm. clarification because we are having no conflict. Uh, with respect no, there is a conflict with Raj. There is a conflict Sorry, with, with Raj. Yeah, yeah. In Raj, all the values are same. There is a conflict. So, engine will check what is the next condition. Next condition is last name. Then, engine will go to the last name column to decide which one to keep first. So, here, the, with respect to descending, the engine will say that there is a conflict? Ah. Okay. No, 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 not that, not that. Here in this query, you are telling to sort based on the first name, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, all this Raj Kumar, Raj Kishore, Raj Karan, can you take any decision based on the first name? No. Why? Because they both, they all are same. Because same. So that is what there is a conflict. They all are same. Oh, to take a, take a decision, decision, there is a conflict. Okay. Ah, to take a decision, okay. there is a conflict. 
so mm -hmm. engine will check the next condition next condition is last name so engine mm -hmm. will go to the last name column to take the some decision okay it, it happens so like in civil court if the case is not resolved one uh, one will go to high court if it is not resolved mm -hmm. then it will go to supreme court so it is like that only okay got it but in rohan sharma cases cases resolved in the first name itself it will not go to the last name okay. so again in suraj there is a conflict they both are same engine is not able to take decision it will go to the last name based on the descending order okay both will be taken into consideration for the decision ah okay. yes got any other got it sir thank you so oh, tell me according to you if there is no conflict in the first name and we mentioned in the descending in the last name there is no review about that right there is there is no nothing will happen okay suppose if all the values are unique suppose if i have this record one minute if i have this record if i have this record suppose in a table if i have only this three record do hmm. you think there is a conflict in the first name no no easily indian can take some decision Right. So even if you will write comma last name descending, engine will never go to this mm -hmm. because this first name is able to ju to justify which one to keep first or which one to keep after that. Okay. Okay. Any other question? Oh, uh, regarding this null values only. Uh, mm -hmm. If the field, if we enter as null, I mean, mm -hmm. is it the uh, like? It's a word or like. Ah, uh, that I will tell in the next class. That I will tell in the next class. How okay, to but if that. it is a null, we can add values later on, right? Example, like in the third for third ID, mm -hmm. it is mentioned like empty string, right? Nothing. Ah, uh, this is values. blank. Yeah, it's this is blank. blank. So in that place, we can add values, right? Oh, that place you can add values. What about in the case of null? Can we add values? Null. Uh, null as well you can add values there are multiple techniques nvl is there coalesce is there update is there through that you can update once you have received the value you can update it yeah so whatever either it is empty or null we in both cases we can add values ah uh, you can add values when you have but received how the value we get as a null as a i mean how it, the display it is displaying as null and for other it is empty right so there uh, we have to like further classes we'll discuss on that right Oh, we will discuss that in the further class. I have not told, discussed anything that how to insert null and all this thing. Okay. <laughs> Just have told the basic definition of null. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Any other question? Hi, Tanvir. Hi, hi. Uh, can you explain the row ID concept now? Row ID concept is uh, uh, very simple. Uh, whenever mm -hmm. you are inserting data in a table, let me show you this. First name, last name, first name, last name, comma, row ID. Whenever you are inserting data in a table, no? so for each data, each record, there will be an address. This is the address. This is the address of this record. This is the address of this record. Okay. And this address will keep on incrementing the way how you inserted data one by one. So that is your row ID. Is that okay? Key? Yes, yes. Uh, so in all this row ID, that. in all this uh -huh. row ID, if you see from first to second last character, they all are same. If you will observe this, they all are same. First to second last character. Only the last character will change. Okay. So that is giving you the address, the incremental address. Okay, okay. Okay. Hmm. Any other question? Any other question? Okay, fine. Uh, any quick suggestion uh, for the course? Uh, are we going very slow? Or is it fine? I think we are very going very slow. It is fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah it is fine. Yeah. Actually, okay. we are going very slow. I mean, if in mm -hmm. the case, like uh, example, now we have discussed of this order by, right? 
so in that case already we discussed about first name like how we are uh, depend i mean sorting in the depends on the alphabets so mm-hmm. the same will apply to the last name i mean de- uh, descending uh, that is fine like we are not aware of that but still like i think we are going a little bit slow on this little bit so okay okay fine fine uh any other uh, thought suggestion or feedback so what, so okay. so what about you like how you think are we going at this speed like will we come i used to uh, <laughs> uh, that will be complete compared to like uh ten, uh already 10 weeks we take okay 10 weeks plus minus one week it happens okay but approx i take 10 weeks and this is the pace i go but again if in a particular batch if the participants they already know this concept and if they want to increase the pace i increase the pace but if in a particular batch because i take care of each and every participant i cannot go by one participant but if they think but if i think that okay most of the participants are very new to sikur then i have to go by this pace that is what i'm asking you guys that what you suggest accordingly down the line i have to modify the course so actually wise, for the guys, new, uh, for new beginning wise, i think it is uh, fine so the flow in which the class is going okay. it is complete so. Yeah. okay uh okay i will take care of that uh, content wise examples what we are giving is that fine what do you think yes it Anyone? is yes sir okay okay fine so pace uh, uh, is a, is a concern here and uh, content uh, okay fine any other suggestions sir actually uh my opinion is like for the beginners like to understand in depth knowledge of each and everything mm-hmm. this space will help to remember these these things for longer run okay mm-hmm. yeah. that is also okay. automatically you know like when we will progress with the session and you will get some sound understanding we will increase the pace that's not a problem but in the yeah, beginning that will be fine because yeah many things is coming at the same time you're understanding the sql engine how it works and uh, many other steps are there so maybe in the beginning I mean, we have to go at a low pace but uh, sorry i will i will keep on working on that that's a good feedback uh so finally guys we can uh, find the hmm. yeah okay so where we can find this recording a uh, recording will be shared uh, in the same target group uh, firdaus is the admin she will share uh, today's recording will also be public she we, we generally takes 3 4 hours to share the recording assignments notes everything so okay. it will be shared in the same target group everything will happen in a target group we don't have to bother uh, firdaus mm-hmm. is admin she will ask to the your details your gmail id everything don't worry about that, those things she will give you okay okay uh, fine then guys uh, any other concern anyone has for the last concern mm, yes no okay okay fine then fine then guys enjoy your sunday let's connect next week thank you take care bye thank you tanveer thank you tanveer bye uh, teach to dust